Okay, so let's talk a little bit about front wheel end geometry. So this is an assembly of the 1550 wheel end. This line here is what's called steering axis inclination. So this is a center line goes right between the two ball joints. If this was a kingpin axle, it would be the center line of the kingpin. Either way, that is the axis about which the wheel pivots around. Now, the reason it's at an angle is because if it was straight, then the tire would swing in a big arc around the line. By placing it at an angle, it makes the tire pivot in a tighter arc. So the pivot point is actually defined down here. Henry, let's zoom down and take a look at that. So this is the point at which scrub radius is zero. This is a model of a 40 inch tall tire with it resting on the ground so it actually compresses a little bit when the weight of the car is on it. So this is a logical point that it would pivot around but since we're not, our tire is not coming down here and meeting the ground we're actually meeting it right in here. So let's zoom in just on this right here Henry. Okay, so our scrub radius is defined by the distance between this is the ground and obviously that's what the, the tire would normally be squeezed up a little bit but we just can't, didn't show it that way so this distance is actually our scrub radius and our scrub radius with the five and a half inch backspace wheel is under one inch very small if I had a three and a half inch backspace wheel which would push the wheel and tire out two more inches I'd have almost three inches of scrub radius that's a big change this is why to have the tire pivot rather than roll through a turn we want to have that deep backspace wheel we want to have the high steering axis inclination so that this pivot point here the center line of the tire is as close to the intersection point of the steering axis inclination the ground and the center line of the tire so that's what we're trying to achieve with this that allows the tire to turn more easily from steering input. It allows the tire to not exert forces on the steering linkage when it's trying to accelerate and climb into the other side, like tow in under pressure, or to tow out under heavy braking. It also means that the tire, when it pivots, it's just pivoting about this axis of one inch, just under one inch. And so what that means is the tire doesn't roll very much even when our lockers are engaged. If you have a long scrub radius, the tire actually rolls a little bit as it turns, and the locker prevents that. So to be able to steer better when the locker is engaged, and I'm in an obstacle trying to maneuver, having a low scrub radius allows the tire to turn with a lot less force and a lot easier when the locker is locked. That's a big advantage when you're negotiating an obstacle.